My name is Matthias Gelber. I'm brand ambassador for Avant Wood. Behind me, you see the famous Lowly project. All the exterior there, the wood that you see is small diameter, pine and birch from plywood core. And uh, they were treated with the TMTM technology. I know you are here to see the research results. That is what Pekka is going to uh, present today. So my name is Pekka Ritvanen. Uh, first example for us is the small diameter Acacia and rubber wood. Here are the uh, samples of what we did. And, and you can see here in the picture uh, from left to right, you can see the, the Acacia as green zone, timber, as dried and densified. So without the thermal modification. And then you can see also thermomechanically modified, so densified and mechanically modified. We found 0% of trying defects uh, concerning the bowing, twisting, cupping, warping, and also the trying defects like uh, loose knots or end splits. Same results, reduced defects. As you can see here are acacia and rubber wood. You can see that uh, those both are dried and densified. And you can see that the, there are no, no internal checks in the, in the timber. And maybe you also see that the knots are solid. So they are not, they are not loose. Uh, here we have uh, samples of the glue lamp, what we made out of those uh, acacia and rubber wood. Okay, so these uh, glue lamp boards were made with this principle which gives you a very high yield of the small diameter timber applications. As you can see, few very important things. Modification time in our system was about 2.5 days instead of the Acacia conventional drying time is 500 hours. So we can reduce the drying time by 90%. This densification, we managed to increase the uh, MOR values by some 15%, MOE, elasticity modulus about 50%, and then also the compression strength, crossing strength uh, by some third. We see very remarkable end results. It opens the door for further application of Acacia. Acacia itself is quite strong timber, but we can make it even stronger. Let's take a look of the uh, rubber wood, similar rubber wood figure. Here we go. Again, rubber wood conventional drying time, about this thickness of, of timber is about 200 hours. We made it in 30 hours. So it means a reduction of 85% in the drying time. And again, the yield was very high and we managed to improve uh, the strength characteristics between 42 to 50%, and in, especially in compression strength, which you may need to have by over 60%. You can make a remarkable change in the timber properties and characteristics by using TMTM. You can have the raw material for the very end product you are making, flooring, tabletops, whatever. We modified aspect. We modify it so that we improve the density by 50%, which means from the initial uh, density 450, we improve it to 670. And we managed to improve the prenal hardness by 45% and the bending strength by 22. But now the Aspen correlates uh, uh, properties of, of birch. So we can replace birch with Aspen and we can convert the birch to oak. The photo of the, in this below left, is the birch planks, which have been modified so that they meet uh, strength and hardness properties of oak. And we managed to get uh, properties of the birch similar to oak, which means an, uh, uh, a substantial reduction of material cost in this particular application, namely doorsteps or flooring. 